It's October 1st. That means 31 days of Halloween makeup. Today we're starting out with a jack-o'-lantern. The inspiration? So growing up, I always had a lot of weird like ghost experiences. Only moly, bitch! The one I'm starting with though is like super lighthearted. Is this my shade? As a kid, I was super obsessed with this game called Mousetrap. It kind of reminds me of Shoots and Ladders, the way the game board was set up, but at the goal was to try and like trap the mouse, I think. And I was the type of kid to like chronically harass my parents. I want an umpa lumpa now! Can it, you nit? This day, however, my big brother Mikey was babysitting me. And man fell asleep on the damn job again. I was kind of used to this by now. Like I was pretty self-sufficient as a kid. So like I wasn't concerned that he was sleeping. I knew how to get like food and water. Like I wasn't that young. But I knew while he was sleeping that I wanted to play mousetrap. Thing is that my parents were so sick of me asking they put it on like the highest shelf. I feel like I'm doing Color Me Monday. And as my brother was like sleeping, I asked him to get the game and he told me no. I'm self-sufficient. I pull a dining room chair to the closet door and I still can't reach it. But then suddenly I could reach it. And I mean, this thing was like on the top, top shelf. But now that I have the game, who am I gonna play it with? Well, the old lady that comes and visits me and talks to me all the time when everyone's asleep. Hi, I'm Jasper. Because I was a notorious insomniac as a child and still am. She just always seemed like a safe person. So like, I never even questioned the fact that like, she didn't come around during the day. I don't know, I was probably like six years old. So she does her thing where she randomly pops up and she's like, oh, well, I'll play with you. So my six-year-old self set up the entire game of Mousetrap with this woman's help. I have like a really distinct memory of her voice being like the sweetest voice of like anyone I've ever heard. And I still can hear it in my head, but I can't describe it. These triangles don't even look related. Her and I probably played this game for mo no more than like 20 minutes. And she was oddly really good at this game and I remember getting frustrated that she beat me. Like the mouse dropped and she won. So just as she won the game, the door opened in our apartment. Honey, I'm home! So she snuck into like the kitchen which looped into the dining room to try and get a picture of us playing. And to her surprise, I was completely alone. So she questioned me and was like, who are you playing mousetrap with? This is not like a single person game. And I exclaimed, the old lady with the white hair who comes to visit me at night. She honestly like didn't ask me any questions and just chopped it up to me being like a really imaginative kid. Witch! For the next couple days, I was like actively upset that I got beat in Mousetrap. I was sick, so I'm sure my family was always letting me win, but I was like avidly upset about losing. So then a couple days go by and my mom happens to pull out old family albums because she wanted to put new pictures in them. So as we're flipping through these old folder albums that I had never seen before, I stop on a picture of this lady and I went, oh my gosh, that's the lady that visits me at night. That's the lady who beat me in Mousetrap. <laughs> And my mom was like, granny? Like, her granny. And I was like, yeah. And I said, she had the sweetest voice. And now my mom is like completely flabbergasted because she had passed well before I was born. And then that became the family ghost story that we told every time people asked, have you guys ever seen a ghost? Now I wanna hear your ghost stories, so stitch this video or comment down below. Bye.